At 41, Princess Madeline can boast that she continues to be the most beautiful royal family in Europe. He demonstrated this during a gala dinner in New York, from gala to gala. If on Sunday night the royal women laid out for Prince Christian's 18th birthday during a dinner held at Christiansborg in honor of the future King of Denmark, a day later, across the pond, the Queen and Princess exuded elegance in New York. We're talking about Sylvia and Magdalena of Sweden, who are in the Big Apple supporting their World Childhood Foundation, and at the evening event, the youngest of the Swedish royals gave it their all in terms of style. Reminding us why years ago she was christened as the most beautiful royal princess, Magdalena looked gorgeous at the gala accompanied by her mother and her husband Chris O'Neill. For the occasion, the princess made her debut in a dark blue dress by Chiara Boni La Petite Robe. It is a Merla model with open shoulders and neckline, short draped sleeves, three-dimensional ruffles on the side and an elegant slit in the front, its price was €1,100, although it can now be bought on several multi-brand sites with discounts of up to 715 A good price for such a gorgeous dress that reminds us of Magdalena of the past and offers an updated and sophisticated look. Image as well as sexiness as usual, Magdalena complemented the dress with luxurious accessories, a new gold Bottega Veneta handbag worth €2,500 and Elia sandals worth €1,500 with original balls in the ankle area. As for jewelry, it ranged from Swarovski earrings with yellow crystals worth €120 to her inseparable Rolex watch and loved a Cartier bracelet worth more than €7,000. Magdalena and her husband have been living in the United States for more than three years. Chris O'Neill had to move to Florida for work, and on this adventure he was of course accompanied by his wife and three children, 10-year-old Princess Leonora, Prince Nicholas is 8 years old and Princess Adrian is 5 years old. The family lives a very peaceful life in Miami, away from media attention, although criticism of Magdalena for her non-participation in the agenda continues to be repeated in Sweden. And although she attends no more than 10 official events during the year, Magdalena continues to receive a salary from the state. A few months ago, it was revealed that the princess intended to return to her country with her children and husband to stay there permanently. The move was scheduled for the end of August, but for unknown reasons the couple decided to postpone the move indefinitely. Magdalena was in Stockholm a month ago to celebrate the jubilee of her father, King Carl XVI Gustav, and now she has been able to spend time with her mother in New York for their work together at World Childhood, a foundation she created by Queen Sylvia to help children around the world and in which her young daughter is very active.